had to do a little restart the computer had a little hiccup we should be live nice hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today is august 1st 2020 we're into a new month and we're doing a open discussion on education beyond indoctrination and the propaganda and we have done a handful of these in the past and um, we're just gonna continue our discussion talk about education and uh, some of the problems associated with it some of the fixes associated with it uh, some of the alternative uh, ways that we can ensure that our society is educated to the best of its uh, capabilities uh, to make sure that we move forward together as a society instead of having this separation of power and everybody else right uh, aside from that uh, welcome I hope uh, you enjoy discussion if you want to know who I am uh, what I'm up to I do have a patreon page patreon.com slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to support this project uh, you can follow I don't put anything behind paywall everything's uh, creative commons share and share alike so you can follow the work and if you do like what you see uh, and in the future, if you ha do have the means, uh, supporting this work through Patreon is a fantastic way to make sure this work continues to the best of us, uh, to maximize it, really. Great lasagna, how are you doing? Morning, how are you doing? Doing fantastic. I got my tea going on. I got a little bit of peanut butter mixed in with honey. Honey and peanut butter mixed together, just as a little snack. I already had a nice big bowl of cereal. The cereals that we have, oh, they God. They could only be one. We are live streaming on Twitch if you want to participate in these discussions live as they are happening twitch is where you want to be at zimmy 002 how are you doing and uh, we do have a fantastic community here fantastic mods fantastic discussions take place and um, it's it's not a bad place to be it's not a bad place to be uh, very happy that we found our way here a couple of years ago and uh, we are seeing our little community grow at a fairly good pace, uh, manageable play pace, and uh, the link between all the other content and the live streaming is solidifying now, which is fantastic, right? I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Twitter, Gavs, Minds, VK, LO, and Parlor. If uh, you want to follow some of the information that we're sharing and what we're up to, those platforms are also a good way to follow the work, and all the links will be in the description of the video it's the best place to be great lasagna says <laughs> we will be uploading the audio for these live stream open discussions that we have when we're recording with the lapel mic onto soundcloud soundcloud.com slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o for a few years now i've been having a request to provide my content in just audio format and this year we kicked that into gear in 2020 and we've been uploading the content onto soundcloud and those of you who are listening to the audio uh, i hope you enjoy these discussions and uh, thank you for following the work on soundcloud and if you do want to appreciate the audio you know if you're out and about and don't have video access or don't have the capability to watch the video uh, you can just listen to it uh, soundcloud is a fantastic way to do so and i think notifications goes out to other podcasting platforms as well so they should be available through those platforms as well and we will be uploading this video it's education so i'm assuming it's going to go to uh, youtube as well but we will be uploading this video to BitChute and youtube and if you are on youtube by joining youtube membership is also a great way to support this project okay aside from that uh, we're gonna wait until people roll in uh, I'm not sure if notifications went out on twitch maybe they went out on discord um, and we do have a discord page by the way and the link will be in the description of the video and it is on the description of our main twitch page way down at the bottom and there's a lot of people sharing fantastic information and having great discussion on our twitch on our uh, discord channel okay hey man bureaucracy kills 100 percent agree with you bureaucracy is the enemy of humanity 
right i'm gonna take these things down I got a not notification from Twitch. Awesome, great lasagna. Now we know. Thanks for letting me know about that. And it is Saturday morning. It is uh, a discussion about education, something that a lot of people don't want to participate in to a certain degree. But as far as I'm concerned, I've been at this game for a long time. And I used to be on the front lines of different things, uh, places, trying to help do my part to try to improve our societies and our collective and whatnot but one thing i discovered after 20 plus years of being an educator talking to kids parents teachers uh, for me i narrowed it down to our education system okay that's what i've decided to focus my energy to try to improve our societies which is to provide an alternative better uh, source of education specifically for mathematics and discuss some of the problems that we have in our society brought about by centralized education great lasagna nature allows bureaucracy prohibits very well put i like that starsky hey chicho it is 9 a.m for you it is 9 a.m for me saturday morning it's not bad i've been out up and about for about four hours now i wake up pretty early i'm like a five o'clocker <laughs> x how are you doing hope you're doing well you missed a fantastic comic book uh haul video yes uh yesterday morning um we did one and a music lyrics video i don't think you popped in yesterday there were good streams we did two streams yesterday in the last three days we've this is our fifth stream that we're doing <laughs> last four days this is our sixth stream that we're doing i think uh, vocalist vocalist I read a post on Reddit saying that the huge spoke of unemployment, spike of unemployment, will cause cheap labor and the government orchestrated this. Uh, did the government orchestrate this? Government requires tax dollars, right? Now, if your government is functioning to a certain degree and is there to provide services and make sure the country the society is running properly now if your cover government is run by corporations which many western governments are then it is a possibility because those corporations require cheap labor specifically because there is economic warfare going on between the west and china right now and the west i really mean the west it is instigated by the united states but uk just you know did some stuff regarding how 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 way and stuff like this telling them they need to get out so there's going to be a bipolar or multipolar world coming up, coming along right so some of the cheap labor that a lot of corporations have been getting used to fat on right that's gonna disappear slowly right so in the western world they're gonna possibly require to bring some of the manufacturing back in the Western world, but they're fat cats, right? They don't want to pay living wage to people. They want to pay slave wage to people, right? So if, if you believe that multinational corporations run your governments and those multinational corporations require cheap labor to continue their lifestyle, right it's not the lifestyle of the corporations it's the lifestyle of the management that runs the corporations right and the board of directors and all that jazz and the investors and wall investors and wall street and stuff like this then yes it is a very uh it is food for thought right lonely piggy hey chicho returning to work for the first time in two months wow 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 been going through a lot of mental difficulties of late of um, um beyond glad to see you streaming right now it'll help me relax before my shift okay awesome lonely picky and go slow lonely picky it by the way anybody that's going back to work going back to school anything that you're doing which is rolling out your way of life that you used to have before this pandemic swept through the world right don't do things fast speed kills right go slow be methodical about things you know take your time if 
you're put in a situation where you're you're they want you to compromise your beliefs your health your what you think is the right thing to do slow down and have a discussion right so and just go slow really bureaucracy kills thank you very much for the twitch prime sub uh, peppy lover louver chicho resign supreme reign supreme you shall be forever portrayed with the with the all-time greats alongside captain caveman reagan papa smurf trump Colonel clink jean uh rayburn and scooby-doo scooby-doo right on right on i'll take scooby-doo i'll take scooby-doo and a caveman why not papa smurf mm, i got issues with papa smurf man i got issues with papa smurf how come there's only one <laughs> one <laughs> what was it smurfette how come there's only a smurfette with all those smurfs male smurf around there's only one smurfette something's funky going on with those smurfs starsky after the 4 a.m stream i went out for a joint and i woke up like two hours ago i think i'm accidentally running on american time <laughs> starsky spider-man dude how are you doing good morning it's national spider-man day today is it for for real national spider-man day that's cool man catholic traditionalist good morning good morning i got a few hours sleep between 6 a.m and 9 a.m <laughs> three hours elder god held the message great lasagna i'm gonna allow that automod held one of your messages uh, great lasagna spidey masks don't prevent anything <laughs> wear masks there's discussion about masks we're here for uh what do you call it education usa equals babylon akk baby london <laughs> Hobbleton, <laughs> he's quoting, right? Hobbleton says, "Quote: Condoms don't prevent anything." End quote. AIDS guy. <laughs> so, uh, Peppy, Peppy lover, we're in that state right now. By the way, we when you say absolute statements like masks don't prevent anything, that's that's a fallacy. That's false, right? masks prevent many things right it's one of the like I don't, i've never i don't know if you've ever taken an osha course uh safety course or anything like this i have through my geophysics days i've worked in places where there are contamination there's this there's that there's been places i went to where i had to take it like a two week a week osha course or was a two week osha course safety uh, stuff like this masks are mandatory many work environments right where there is safety concerns right so masks prevent many things as the A's guys would say condoms don't prevent anything that's what you're saying right don't say that be more specific but they do and they're scientifically proven to work look at japan's COVID number blah, blah, blah. sure thing i'm here graham how's it going yo yo L lisp 19 yo yo sorry if asked before but uh what is the story behind the name chicho it's it's a nickname it's a mix of two nicknames that i've had since many 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 moons ago and i've been going by chicho since the 1990s online right i used to play under chicho uh some of the first online open world games that came on in the 1990s mid to late 1990s i was going by chicho great lasagna in my view the centralized education system is essentially where you start your training as a um, glamorized slave for the system but please change my mind if you disagree great lasagna i do not disagree and that is why personally i'm tackling it from that perspective right it it is essential for us to address if you want to uh, fix the world's problems fix our our communities our societies bring sanity back to life we have to address education end of story there like there's nothing else that really i've looked into this for a long time and i've i've again i've been on the front lines of many places right trying to fight the power do this do this do this do this, do this, do this. that's band-aid right 
it, it's it's worthwhile doing it must be done we should go to peace rallies we should challenge corporations like i've i've taken in park the ceo of in park in canada to court i had him on the stand questioning him for two hours i sat across a room with two of their top lawyers and the ceo with a uh, what do you call it during a hearing mitigator trying to settle the case i said hell no we're going to go to court right i've done all that and it's okay to challenge power but if we want to fix things we have to approach the education system and that's where i am and i be i believe that's where graham is as well and many other people are working from it from that perspective right junk do you like psychedelics go to my bitchu channel check out my top three videos okay trust me we agree around here we agree around here sleepy waves hey chicho long time i haven't been able to tune in capitalism starting to try and knock at my door this week <laughs> yeah sleepy waves everybody's everybody's slick mick how are you doing i don't want to spam sorry but i think it's a very good insight into my education system here in ireland mm. very good insight which insight into my education system you know uh, in regards to what we're talking about i think it's in the western world that is exactly the problem that we're uh everybody's facing right Star starsky hey chicho the multinational western corporations move overseas to improve quote improve health in underdeveloped countries end quote also quote to raise poor people out of poverty end quote what do you think of uh these pretexts i think it's ridiculous uh gina how are you doing hey chicho what is it like to be to be chicho today uh to be chicho today uh we're coming towards the last two streams uh that i set and i did two more streams unannounced stream unscheduled streams in in that as well and i've been doing a lot of stuff in the background um doing good um when i get a lot done uh, i get happy right it's just going crazy and it gives me uh, justification uh, to slow down for a few hours to a few days right so it and it, this is in regards to education as well like one of the ways personally for me I've dealt with my personal education and how I've dealt with acquiring information I go ballistic 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 and then whoosh, breathe ballistic 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 breathe and i highly recommend if you're you can handle that type of thing some people need to be like this right some people need to go in waves figure out your rhythm figure out your frequency figure out what works best for you incorporate it into your life if you like doing this then do this but make sure you don't when you're down and taking a break don't become lazy don't procrastinate kick it back up again and when you're up top functioning at full capacity plus some don't forget to take a break right manage your life and for me uh chicho today um i'm old enough uh, i've had enough experience uh, to be able to manage things well enough for now nobody cared until put on the mask i broke her in regards to COVID. agreed they do prevent a lot but not COVID. Uh, uh, peppy peppy lover we're talking about education but i'll put this question to you do you know what COVID is because i can guarantee you nobody knows not really no one that's talking on tv knows so how do you know exactly what's going on you don't masks may help with protection but what they take away is worth more that statement peppy peppy lover lover that statement is a more accurate statement right what elder god is saying right masks may help with protection right but what they take away and instead of using is i would say maybe maybe worth more but elder god is saying is but i'm on the mindset of robert anton wilson maybe logic is better than absolute logic right maybe 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 once we start in understanding that we really don't have absolutes right very few absolutes in life 
right we start talking about maybes then we start accepting different perspectives into our lives right think about what you show are the two nicknames chi and chong <laughs> to a certain degree true elder cheech and chong one of them was cheech one of them was cheech hubbleton yeah i hate how mass take away the ability for other people to see me from uh, a frown at belligerence spider-man respectfully what do masks take away masks take away uh facial expressions right masks isolate like there's there's one irish guy um that is taking the government to court and he gave a, he's an older irish guy he explained very well spider-man i don't know if i link that video on our uh COVID folder or politics folder but he explained very well the what masks do take away right oxygen falls <laughs> no they don't take away oxygen education should be disengagement by government oh, agreed sarcasm true 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 uh, okay gang i'm gonna start scrolling okay i'm gonna read things that say chicho if there's anything directed towards me please let me know uh, i was just gonna check to see yeah we got a fair bit of people here so i want to stay on topic okay graham chicho it's my goal to bring a wonder back to the world we lose our sense of wonder it's beaten out of us in elementary school and so we must provide a place for people to learn and pursue their own interests free of corporate propaganda if we care about things like truth and good uh, uh, corporate funded education is not the way i agree with graham 100 percent right uh slick mix sorry i sent a very long message but i don't think it came through yeah very long matches of slick mix don't come through you got to break it up in essence i'm just complaining about how unfair the point system of irish education is i can link some info to it if you're interested slick mix uh post it on our education folder on discord right for sure we have a education folder on discord where people are sharing information and it's pretty good it's pretty good da -da 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 -da. sleepy way chicho do you think you're uh you're high on the wave right now in canada no in canada we're stabilized we'll see where it goes from there if that's what you're talking about good morning sir Notroville ramen zeta good morning sir what are your favorite books behind you my favorite books behind me my favorite books behind me i have a few graphic novel rachel rising is absolutely amazing this thing this omnibus is the story it's terry moore's rachel rising phenomenal if i had well i would recommend this to anyone to read but if i had a daughter uh a female in our family that i was raising i would give them this to read because almost all the main characters in this are female they are powerful they are smart it's epic it's beautiful it's horrific it's magnificent this is one of my favorite books story arcs terry moore's rachel rising right. i would highly recommend anyone to read it really it's epic that's one i'll give you one absurdicon how are you doing by the way welcome everyone uh thank you for being here i hope you're enjoying the discussion if you're having discussion with people or following the discussion that we're having regarding education absurdicon chicho as a very private individual who gets socially anxious i love mass and don't mind them much at all cool and that's good man and that's the thing that we mentioned everybody's different right People should not be shaming people who are wearing masks or shaming people who aren't wearing masks. Let people be who they want to be, right? There's like, I like, I like uh, a cyberpunk. I like futuristic stuff, right? A lot of the futuristic sci-fi stuff, you see people wearing heavy duty masks. I think that's bloody cool, 
right? Do I want to do that? Not really, but I think that's cool. And if I see someone doing that, well, cool enough for me, right? Sleepy ways. Nah, I'm talking about the wavelength in your life. Are you chill or ballistic mode right now? I'm both. Right now, look, life is about managing, right? I'm going ballistic, like hardcore ballistic right now, right? Because I have a lot, like seriously, I got four videos queued up to be released on BitChute, right? I got actually five videos queued up, four or five videos to be queued up to be released on BitChute. I got three videos to be queued up to be released on youtube i'm behind on those and i still have to get the other so i'm going ballistic with the work and stuff like this right but i'm also chill i breathe i go for walks i go out on the patio and do my gardening and you know uh suckering the uh, tomato plants and watering plants and stuff like this i i watch my animation i read my comic books the the trick to life is this depending if you're high frequency long wavelength or whatever you are right sometimes you go like that and you need to do right but that should be on a longer wave right if you're going like this constantly on a flat line you're going to break right what you need to do if you're doing this then go on a wave like this and what happens is if you're going high high ballistic here you're doing a lot of work a lot of work then you come down here and you chill on the same wavelength on the same frequency right for me i have i've i almost took a bill hicks break uh, a couple of weeks ago but i'm just enjoying this too much right so i'm not going to take a bill hicks break uh so thanks for asking sleepy waves i just like the rhythm i'm in right now and i could say it's both of them right but i am going ballistic uh, the chill factor is reduced in wavelength right so when i chill i'm relaxing i go and then right grab chicho your opinion what elements are critical for sufficient community resource center what elements are critical for a sufficient community resource center first of all you need the land the land has to be there the buildings has to be the infrastructure must exist right so the infrastructure has to exist and the participation of the community is a must so first order of business is building the networks right making sure that the community knows exactly what's going on and it is a resource that they're interested in using that's the first uh, critical uh, aspect of it right it's like a product if you have a phenomenal product that is going to improve the world change the world right provide everything to the world but if you don't market it properly no one's going to know about it right so marketing is important absurdicon chicho i find mass to be like sunglasses for the mouth <laughs> ding bobber chicho my 10 year old male cousin is possibly depressed and totally disinterested in school and what it has to offer and i don't blame him i don't either he has played a lot of video games already in his short life and i think they're starting to get a get stale for him good i tried to spike his interest in some things yesterday i brought brought over music making equipment digital cool a 21x microphone he had fun with that and an old bluetooth speaker i let him take part awesome ding bobber the other thing you could do uh, with kids who have lost interest in education in our education system and a lot of kids have no interest in our current education system right is interact with them let them speak if they're not speaking you do something that you find interesting when they start showing a little bit of interest slowly give them a little bit of responsibility in that project and if they want to take over let them take over right so you can offer don't force kids anything right offer them choices that is one thing that is missing in our centralized education system they pretend they're giving them choices right they say okay these are all mandatory classes and you have two choices of electives you can take a or b and a and b 
are taught in the same way as all the other courses so it's not really it's bare minimum of choices right as Chomsky would say you can allow open discourse as long as you limit the number of choices in society right and that means you can just completely control society give them choices and listen to what they really want to do and help them out that means as an educator as a parent as a guardian as a family member as a friend you have to do the work to be able to facilitate them learning something right like it's it's a lot of work trying to educate youth okay people have to appreciate this like a lot of people are stuck in the mentality of centralized education teachers just stand in front of class and do their thing and you know it's it takes zero effort and they get two months off in the summer and blah 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 those people are idiots who think teachers only do that amazing teachers good teachers phenomenal teachers teachers that care right they do what they do in a classroom is a fraction of what they do in the background okay like for example what you see me doing here is just a two hours we're streaming two hours there's a few more hours of work that i do for every two hours of streaming that i do right there's a lot of work to be done so if you're facilitating your cousin trying to get him interested in stuff and good on you ding bobber right whatever amount of energy you put into friends and family trying to facilitate their means of education right that pays you back multiple fold in the long run right it is the best investment one of the best investments you can make right so don't forget to listen to them what they want to do introduce them to things that are outside of their immediate knowledge base as well okay good on you thing bobber though but get him recording edit his sound edit his vocals and stuff which is i'm pretty sure you will be doing master gamer <laughs> slick mick chicho education is not about learning things to do what you want in life it's about the government making you learn certain things that they want you to do in life my opinion feel free to describe okay first of all slick slick mc 99 i agree with what you say except you use the wrong word the first word you said you use was education that's the wrong word what you should say is centralized schooling is not about learning things to do what you want in life it's about the government making you learn certain things that they want you to do in life my opinion feel free to so i agree as long as we put cent, uh, centralized schooling uh, in your thing but if you said education no i disagree with you right it's so nice to look at nature feel your feet on the grass yeah I'm scrolling down absurdicon chicho what are your thoughts on education this coming fall should children be sent back to school if if i can tell you what i would do if i had if i was in different parts of the world by the way you guys majority of you guys are in the united states right in canada our covid issues are nothing compared to what's going on in the united states right so in british columbia kids are being sent to school and that's a good thing right and they don't have to wear masks either right however in places where if kids are being forced to wear masks and social distance and be treated as if they are prisoners and they're going to be shouted at and they're going to be punished if they go close to their best friend right and talk to them and hug them and touch them and play together right if they're going to be treated like that i would not send my kids to school right so it really depends it really depends if any school is going to provide freedom for the kids to be kids right then sure as long as the education is okay if they're going to be treated as like prisoners i would not send my kids to school if the centralized education system wants to open up school they can if they want sure if they're going to force you to send your kids to school then 
there is a problem if you don't want to send your kids to school and the problem is really on you because if you have taken the responsibility to raise a child right in the society to take on the burden of being a parent then one of your responsibilities is to make sure your child feels comfortable feels safe is treated well right and is educated properly so that might mean and it will mean that you have to adjust your life to make sure you have time to educate your child okay spider-man says children should be staying home in my opinion I agree but i feel uh, kids da, 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 i'm gonna go down great lasagna chicho school ruined my soul as kid gladly art was always there to save me yeah and it destroys many many kids really it does graham chicho i recently joined the association for self-directed education are you familiar with this model are there any democratic schools in your area um i don't know this association but there are people that i interact with which follow the principle of uh, self-directed education I have students that they're self-directed right or their families directed and i am working with a school right now that is fairly open it's got curriculum where they include a lot of nature in their education right and their students fall on the under the umbrella of being outside the box many of them and i interact with them and they're brilliant my god it's such a joy like really the diversity like i've never worked with a school where where the you can see the self-direction uh, based on the way the kids have been taught because they're not in the box right they're so their interests are so and kids are like that right but they if they've been in the system too long they conform they they break down right central education just crushes them right and they think they have to uh, agree with the collective and live the same way as everybody else in peers within the centralized education system a lot of students that i'm interacting with some of them are homeschooled some of them are half home half school and stuff like this and you can see them their interests are amazing right so it's phenomenal work in that way so kudos to you kudos to you for getting into that uh, i'm scrolling down gang i want to see chicho's august august cgr chicho so true no opinions uh, no options for children in centralized schooling absolutely tunnel vision system all directed towards centralized tests little jobs or college readiness i have experienced multiple teachers who absolutely changed my life because they believed in me as an individual and allowed me to grow and shine rather than handing me papers and expecting me to do all the work without any engagement yeah agreed agreed grant chicho yes the democratic model basically allows students per, to pursue their own interests and they more or less need to justify how they spend their time it's so refreshing to see people doing the same work that i am doing and finding people who are about what i care about graham congrats brother really really and it's going to take it's a multi-year it's a lifestyle the this way of thinking it's enlightening like i'm not bored when i interact with my students it's it's incredible right because they stimulate me right the ideas they have the perspectives they have the way they look at a problem where i explain a problem to them and then they look at it from this perspective i'm like damn that is brilliant right I still encounter students where I've used the same problem, right? And that's one thing that motivates me. I use the same problem because mathematics is mathematics, the same techniques, right, to do certain things. And I still encounter students every year where they show me a perspective on a certain technique that I had never seen before. I'm like, what the unbelievable, it's brilliant. It's brilliant 
right? Toes, how are you doing? What was your favorite moment or experience in your own education? My favorite moment experience in my own education. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite moment. I have moments. Uh, I don't know. Interacting with friends was fantastic. Some of the games we used to play at school was fantastic, right? Uh, like one game, I'll tell you one game we used to play at school. Uh, we used to, we had tennis balls, we were playing tag, but tag was getting a little boring. So what we did was we played tag with a tennis ball. So there was a whole crowd of us, multiple grades playing this game where they banned, by the way, the school banned this game. <laughs> it got out of hand, right? But basically, we were playing tag with a tennis ball. That was one of my favorite moments in school, right? For We did this for a few weeks, few months, actually, and then the school banned it. But what we would do is tennis ball, someone was it from the previous day, right? So as soon as the lunch bell rang, we all we go into the hallway. Whoever's it, you're trying to avoid them, and they got the tennis ball irrelevant of who's in the hallway you yell clear and everybody would jump out of the way because the game had been going on for a long time and you see people the people who are involved in the game you see them all of a sudden boom get get <laughs> like people are split and all of a sudden you know who's in the game right because people chose to be in the game all of a sudden whoever's in the game is oh my god and they run down the hall away from the guy and people would just wind up and tennis ball just flies down the hallway and boom knocks someone in the head or misses or hits some bystander collateral damage when they banned it was this the instant in the bandit right school bell rang and i know this because either i threw the ball or one of my friends threw the ball i was there to see this right <laughs> The bell rang, everyone came out, someone was it, I don't know if it was me or someone else or whatnot. People yelled clear, right? It went clear. There's people running down the hallway, and it was either me or someone else that I saw. Wind up, throws a tennis ball as hard as they can. At the same moment, one of the hard ass teachers in school opens the door and unknowingly <laughs> opens the door and looks. The tennis ball goes <laughs> like miss them by this much right and the sound on it it was brilliant it was brilliant and then they banned it and then we started playing poker for a few months and then they banned poker best moments were games that we played right ding bobber have you heard and that's one of the good things about education about getting kids together they play together they interact together right they create their own games together right they create a certain type of hierarchy certain kind of type of allegiances collaborating with others is brilliant is brilliant right have you heard about the idea uh ding Bobber, have you heard about the idea of historical indian education before british rule no i don't know it they focus on building character integrity as well as good ethics and spiritual values which are things that you need i've read krishnamurti and i highly recommend and i've mentioned this in almost every education stream we've had krishnamurti's education and the significance of life read it it is probably as far as i'm concerned the most important book regarding education okay krishnamurti education and the significance of life and it is available for free to read online do yourself a favor read it okay it's a short book it's a small book okay coolio chicho have you ever heard of ad astra i think i believe so where's uh, it's where uh, Elon musk and spacex employees send their kids regardless of your opinion of musk he said there are no tests and his kids look forward to do going to school because they get to work on things that interest them if this was made the norm and freely available would you like something like that for sure 
That's the way education should be. It should be, like Graham said, a central focal point, right? A place that is known as the education center, right? Where the community is involved and courses, curriculums, uh, internship, just hanging out, playing games. That's where the community gets together to educate, to interact with each other. That's what we need, literally. We don't need prisons, right? Which a lot of our centralized education centers are and schooling centers are. Would you consider sending your kids to a Krishnamurti school? Um, if it was around, I would have to look into it, right? I would have to look into it. I love the philosophy of Krishnamurti's education and the significance of life. Uh, I would have to look at their curriculum, find out what it is that they're doing, and talk to the teachers to see who they are, right? I know you don't have kids, but say you did. I, I would, I would, I would, I would be making sure my kids were well ahead of the game before they even went to school, right? They would need to learn mathematics and English well, and I would have already given them projects to do, right? And responsibility. Okay. So yeah, it really depends on the school. The name of the school is irrelevant. It's the teachers in the school. It's the curriculum in the school. It's how they treat the children in the school. There are private schools which are good. There are private schools that are horrendous. There are public schools which are good. There are public schools which are horrendous. There are alternative schools which are good. There are alternative schools that are horrendous. Really depends. Okay. I give the U.S. school system two weeks and it will be forced to close, possibly. <laughs> Slick Mick ninety nine. If you can, Hamilton. <laughs> if you can dodge a wrench, Slick Mick ninety nine. Chicho. Yes, I meant centralized education, uh, centralized schooling system, not education. Face palm. Yeah. Ha uh -huh. Toes. You threw the ball. Don't pretend it wasn't you. <laughs> I was. I was one of the instigators that began this game. Me and the two other guys that just got dozens of people playing we actually the school when we we're playing that game i was going to catholic school the school was right beside a nunnery right and the game even expanded into the nunnery we'd climb through the windows and <laughs> running down the nunnery with a tennis ball boom <laughs> play equals learning by my thinking graham i agree with you 100 percent Absurdicon Chicho, and then they banned it, and then we started playing poker for a few months, and they banned <laughs> poker. Thing. Yeah. Like literally, they banned poker. We, they said you can't do this, you can't do this. So we started sitting in the cafeteria playing poker for money, right? Ch -ch -ch -ch. When a fair bit of money was changing hands, it was good income for me. What the hell? They banned it, and we started playing poker in classes, <laughs> and then they banned it. No more poker. I remember my old school banning playing. Uh, play fighting guys love wrestling in the snow or grass but we weren't even allowed to speak about doing any of that agreed lonely piggy which is ridiculous right absurd okay absurd con chicho i love to jump from a clearly childish game like tennis ball tag to a bunch of school kids playing poker yeah. spider-man i have to look for a bit lurk away brother rough raft hobo my high school was pretty unique we called our teachers by their first names to uh kind of level the playing field to kind of level the playing field in terms of power between us and them we were allowed to go anywhere we wanted on our lunch breaks we even had a course called the rite of passage experience rope where they taught us how to write checks pay rent we had to write a short thesis and um, autobiography and read 16 books through high school there was also a strong emphasis on art and creation i love my high school awesome hobo that sounds fantastic and there are many many kids that go to certain schools that love their school right which is awesome okay that being said, I'm pretty sure there would have probably been a one or you know some kids there that didn't like that system. So there isn't 
a, one unique system to accommodate everyone there isn't right you went uh Allergo, you went between eight schools be uh, between grade eight and 16 wow 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 that's a lot catholic tradition is lonely piggy i went to a rural school where fighting scrapping as we called it was commonplace during break periods as long as it did not get out of hand and was confined to the playground area the school allowed it for the most part since it's, it gave us an outlet for energy and aggression that could lead to nonsense in the classroom yeah I was the same way Catholic traditionalist. We we had a lot of freedom until they banned it <laughs> to do things <laughs> intrepid until we pushed a boundary and that's as a kid that's where you learn pushing the limit, right? Intrepid. Hey Chicho, how are you doing on this fine Saturday? Doing fantastic, brother. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing well as well. Catholic traditionalist Chicho was the game worth the wax on the knuckles uh, with a ruler? Haha. <laughs> uh, I was lucky. I was in Canada. So teachers were not allowed to whack you on the knuckles. In Iran, they were, right? And it would have been worth it there too. But it was worth it. The game was worth it. Whatever, it was worth it. And by the way, gang, phenomenal exercise. At the end of lunch, at the end of lunch, we were soaking wet we were people that were playing this game we sweated our asses off right and then gym class would come along and they, they tell you to run and you're like dude what am i running from where am i running to what's the name of the game right so we got more exercise in one lunchtime period right depending on actually we had pretty good gym but some kids right then most kids got in a whole month of gym class right so it was activity hobbleton i went to catholic school as well the uniforms were the perfect color to display all of the footprints covered us when we returned from the restroom uh restroom together yeah it was all white white shirts right white and gray ding bobber chicho play is a lost art form nowadays parents are so overprotective some kids can hardly run around the neighborhood anymore i feel like you would agree i agree i agree we it's, it's like a nanny state and nannying kids kids are malleable their bones they heal fast right so you need them to push the boundaries and builds bone density muscle density kids need to be running around active hurting themselves right some people end up hurting themselves severely unfortunately that is nature okay who else had a ghost hunting their school haha <laughs> I thought the nunnery had ghosts. We didn't have a ghost. We had the hall mo monsters that would eat you if you're skipping class. Obo says, "Ding bobber." I remember they banned football, and we were only allowed to say touch football afterwards. Damn! I believe they even made us play I touch football when we wanted to play three touch football one touch football three touch football where you had to touch someone three times to count as a tackle which apparently was too violent oh man ridiculous <clears throat> you have kids today are soft some slick mick 99 chicho i'm leaving the stream to go read that book you just recommend that sounds amazing awesome slick mick you're in for an amazing ride you're in for an amazing ride oh uh rachel rising or krishnamurti both of them you're in for an amazing ride on both of them krishnamurti and the significance of uh, education and the significance of life by krishnamurti okay ding Bobber. i was pretty wild kid and did some risky things but i never uh, have never broken a bone i attribute it to good balance and spatial awareness sometimes you get unlucky right 
Coolio Chicho, in your personal opinion, at what age should kids be allowed to be exposed to graphic stuff like violence, sex, etc.? Really depends on the kid. It's not age based. It's our our current centralized indoctrination indoctrination centers. Our current programming in our society tries to force kids into age groups. It's not age, really. It's not age. It's maturity, right? When a kid can handle it, expose it to them. Uh, but that being said, you should have talk to your kids, okay, about sexuality, sex, protection, when they're coming onto puberty, pre-puberty even, right? Because you don't really know when they're hitting puberty, right? I had a talk with the kids in uh, our family uh, as early as 12 years old about condoms okay about sexuality about sex 12 13 years old right they had to be aware because some of them were hanging around the rougher crowd so you don't know where they're going you have to give them that knowledge okay catholic traditionalist chicho Boop. i am sure the nuns would have said that they were there was a ghost in the halls the holy ghost <laughs> true that the holy ghost <laughs> slick mick education and the significance of life this time peace out brother awesome have a fantastic read of it and are you going to hit a place where you're going to go what is this guy talking about he explains what he's talking about that very enlightening book important and we've done a video of it by the way as well yes and i personally feel bah, 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 i'm gonna skip bah, 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 bah. cool i'm at the bottom gang age is just a number age is just a number it has nothing to do with mental capacity okay i know 30 year olds that shouldn't even be exposed to certain things i know some adults that aren't mature enough for it yet hubbleton says yeah oh my god johnny's that's what we call them what do you call the johnny's Allergan, what are Johnny's? Hobo, it seems that a lot of kids only get a bit of sex ed, but I feel like I had a ton. I think I had it uh, from two to sixth grade and then again 11th. Maybe Wisconsin was just really into letting kids know about safe sex and puberty. Possibly. Oh, Automod held something, then Bobber. And let me tell you about. Uh, sex education when i grew up right when i came to canada i believe it was in grade five and i don't agree what they did right it was in grade five grade five or grade six it was probably grade six right we had a sex education class in grade six in the 1980s right where, where they did this right and i totally disagree with what they did oh johnny's condoms you call condoms johnny's haha <laughs> this is what they did in sixth grade they brought out a video they said okay we're going to talk, talk about uh, uh, childbirth and stuff like this they put on a video and they showed the childbirth right with the woman's leg open fully on like no censorship right there and you see all of a sudden things expanding and a kid with blood just pops out like they're showing this to grade six without any preparation and in grade six the boys were sitting on one side and the girls were sitting on one side and all the guys were like holy shit and we're like oh my god we're like this and we look over all the girls were cringing and they're frightened and they're oh my god they're doing this they're doing what a horrendous thing to do to kids in grade six right if you're going to have child education sex education don't do it like that that is insane it was a live video birth <laughs> coolio live video birth showing just imagine the woman's legs and the kid popping out with blood gushing out what the who whose bright idea was to go from oh holding hands to that 
like what insanity i don't think they do that anymore i think it was just an experiment well ridiculous right Ding bobber. I wonder if anyone here understands the seriousness and pervasiveness of children being exposed to porn way too early. I agree. In my opinion, all porn is bad, especially for people under 18. I disagree on that part. And as as a result, escalating their porn use to unacceptable levels with some eventually becoming behaviorally addicted. It's something I care about and I want to prevent my 10 year old cousin from being exposed. I plan to discuss this with with his parents. Yeah, ding bobber. I agree with you. OK, and it's controlled by centralized companies company corporation centralized corporation one corporation controls basically almost all the porn online and a lot of kids are being exposed to some horrendous things right so talking about it is very important but i disagree with the with the statement that all porn is bad i disagree with that adamantly right because first of all it's the definition of porn right what do you consider porn to be right and then from there it just blows up but good on you ding bobber chicho i saw that exact thing in fifth grade chicho you saw it as well so they were doing it to you guys as well a live birth video despite all my sex i, I never saw a live birth video thank god almost <laughs> says in grade five grade six was it grade five they, i can't remember if it was grade five or grade six they did it to us good luck it's a tricky thing for sure visually interesting probably trying to scare the sex out of you all nothing to do with education i, I agree with that i think they were just trying to scare us visually interesting <laughs> crazy nickname crazy username considering what we're talking about porn is fine hobo says but what we need oh man chat keeps on kicking me all the way to the top again for some reason uh, but what we need uh, to teach people is that for the most part it is extremely unrepresentative of what sex is and how people act during sex. i agree with you hobo 100 percent 100 percent hey you all by the way hello visually interesting my father was uh venereal uh, was ven my father was venereal disease consultant i got a very detailed sex education from him oh damn elder god ding bobber chicho i suppose there is such a thing as healthy porn use but it is difficult to have a healthy relationship with porn these days because of what you said centralized parole control yeah and it's not the porn that's bad it's a centralized control of porn that's bad right there's a certain agenda that they push and of course the whole industry is completely uh, it, it's, it's a predatory industry it, it destroys people's lives right coolio chicho do you believe that a significant portion of uh, uh portion of children are natural are contrarians for example they want to stand up to authority and so they discount true education because an authority figure is teaching it to them yeah okay so i disagree that they discount true education uh they rebel right but as soon as you like for me one of the first things i explain to my students is i'm there to work with them i'm going to help them out to deal with the bs that our centralized education system is trying to indoctrinate them with to really educate them so really important to not fall into that category with your students absurd conchicho i don't think that all nudity should be blocked from children like it is in the u.s i agree with you it's ridiculous right but i think uh, pra uh, practically graphic porn should probably be kept from them so as to prevent false ideas about sex and real life yeah there's some certain certain control should be put because they're kids they don't know right but for example i i think we should have way more nude beaches in our societies right or clothing optional beaches in our societies i think it's 100 percent fantastic that families that believe in clothing optional 
are able to go to a beach and shed all their clothing and run around naked with other naked people around there's absolutely nothing wrong with that not only there's nothing wrong with that that is one of the healthiest things in our society period right then people don't start picturing other human beings uh, as what the fashion industry or the porn industry wants people to see right these touched up people airbrush people as if that is the perfect ideal human being you go hang out at a nude beach for a while and you'll notice all the different shapes and sizes and the way people are and initially you might be like oh 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 and then after a while you're like oh huh, huh, huh. that's cool and then you go dah, 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 dah. right if you if 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 you haven't been to a nude beach if you haven't done the clothing optional uh thing in your life i highly recommend becoming a nudist and take everything i say with a grain of salt that is liberating it totally shatters the control mechanism one aspect of the control mechanism that centralized power wants to have over us okay really it's brilliant da, 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 da. Okay. okay i'm going to scroll down to see if there is uh if there's anything chicho related i'm glad a lot of people are having a lot of discussion that's fantastic chicho i find it silly that a movie gets an r rating because it's nudity in it what's the context of the nudity that's what should have a rating system yeah absurdicon it's ridiculous and william reich uh terence mckenna robert anton wilson a lot of great philosophers in society have talked about this that um one of the main control mechanisms of centralized power is sexual repression right once a society is not sexually repressed then they are open to different waves of being right different thoughts more accepting of others less uh violent okay very important kids these days are about the hentai which is kind of disturbing unfortunately hentai has been around forever though hubbleton Ch Ch chicho's new soundboard Da, 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 da. hobo r-rated movies in the 80s and r-rated today are not the same oh my god some stuff that was back in pg uh, back in pg movies would not fly today it's crazy graham chicho as someone who believes in learning through experience sex as egg ed is not something we really uh cover yeah and yeah it's it's interesting it's interesting peanut butter and honey it's a great little treat it's a great treat you put some cocoa nibs in there and chocolate dark chocolate you got yourself Reese's pieces in a spoon super yummy Hamilton by the way gang I'm down on the bottom I'm sorry if I missed anything that was directed towards me. Please let me know. But there's a lot of discussion taking place, which is fantastic. Okay. Uh, what do you usually have with tahini? Either uh, Gina, either maple syrup. So I would do the same thing as this, but I do it with tahini as well. So I take honey. And tahini mix it up and have that or tahini and the maple syrup i actually haven't done peanut butter and maple syrup i'm not sure how it would be i like peanut butter and honey a lot uh, but peanut butter and maple syrup i haven't done take a look at that gooeyness mm. juiciness delicious <laughs> one damn chicho i have some organic honey chocolate syrup and smooth peanut butter you're gonna have to try that yeah super good it'd be phenomenal try it with peanut butter and honey first 
And then if you like that, try throwing some dark chocolate in there. Not fantastic. Right? Very good. Very yummy. Lark Bark 55. Good morning. Good morning. Yummy peanut butter. It's good protein, good carbs. And good minerals in there. With the, with the honey, organic honey, right? Local organic honey, organic peanut butter. Thank you for the follows, gang. Thank you for the subs. Okay, I'll say that again. Uh, because I know I'm missing some of them, which is okay. I know you guys uh, know that I appreciate it very, very much. What else is there about education? What else is there about education? By the way, gang, tomorrow morning, I believe from 11 till 1. Uh, is it from 11 till 1? From 11 till 1, we're doing a comic book reading. Ding Bobber. Chicho, just so you know, I'm going to try and... Um, participate in Graham's next stream and get some ideas uh, flowing with uh, regards to helping my cousin. Thanks to you, I'm not uh, linked up. Uh, thanks to you, I'm now linked up with Graham. Awesome, awesome. And thanks for going to Graham's stream. I've went to a couple of them. Uh, it, it's great. It's nice to see the perspectives an educator that really wants to bring out uh, you know, introduce positive changes in our society and empower people, right? And great ideas, right? And different ideas, some of them different ideas than I do, but that's what we need. We need multiple, multiple sources of education and ideas on how to do things, right? One mold doesn't fit everyone. Dark bark, no, thank you. My pleasure, man. Can we talk about textbooks? Textbooks are horrendous in general. I just love listening to Chicho talk about textbooks. <laughs> Appleton. <laughs> textbook. Majority of textbooks out there that they have in our centralized indoctrination centers from elementary school to high school are garbage. Pure garbage. Right? And why? Because it's all controlled by centralized power. Right? Centralized power. This centralized power that controls the schooling gives this other centralized power to provide all the books in the centralized it's just it's a shit show right horrendous my god i gotta bring out that uh next time i'll try to remember to have uh, uh richard Feynman's little segment that he wrote of how corrupt our current centralized education system is in regards to textbooks and i actually have that on my side oh man you got me going on this thing let me find it let me find it where's my blog where's my blog where's my blog link what the hell doop, doop, doop. okay i gotta go to chicho chicho.com if you go to chicho.com you go under education i'll give you guys a link to this education uh ba -ba 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 -da -da. Excerpts from three articles on education. I'm going to give you this. And this is uh, Richard P. Feynman. Go to number two. Okay. Let me give this to you. And this is something I put together. I don't know when I put this together. When did I put this together? I put this together in 2013. And I believe this is the one where he talks about school uh, textbooks. I was giving a series. Uh, let me read you a little bit about this. Um, da, da, da. But the next day I got a telephone call. Blah, blah. The reason was that the books were so lousy. Okay, let me see if I, I think this is the one anyway. The thing is way longer, uh, by the way. Uh, Coolio, Chicho, do you think teachers should uh, receive, uh, receive biased training in order to teach subjects in non-biased ways as possible? I feel like education on all the world religions from an unbiased standpoint would be hugely beneficial to students. And no, I disagree with the centralized training of 
teachers in a certain way to teach because if someone is a great teacher is someone is a good teacher right a good educator they're they're all already have that krishnamurti's education and significance of life talks about that right as an educator you know we're all biased to a certain degree but what we should try to do is not imprint our beliefs our objectives onto the student what we need to do is facilitate allow teach or provide the tools to a student for them to realize their own vision of what life is right as soon as you introduce a centralized power to do bias training all of a sudden that bias training finds its way to the to the student and i don't trust the centralized education system uh, indoctrination system centralized power to do any type of training adequately i just don't I remember a math textbook that had word questions so goddamn convoluted and intentionally confusing that my uncle who has taken very advanced math before and done exceeding well had great difficulty with them yeah i tell my students this usually i tell my students this if if i write the same exam you do the odds are i'm not going to get a hundred percent and it doesn't make a difference if it's in grade eight nine ten eleven or twelve right like I wouldn't because I would read a question and I would flip it around it wouldn't sound right to me so I would do the opposite or I wouldn't read everything they wanted right so I would lose marks Graham Chicho is theorized a little bit my understanding of the prevalence of the status quo in public education has to do with a student to teacher feedback loop what I mean by this is that people who were good students grow up wanting to be teachers and they and they then enforce the same outmoded norms that they thrived within and wrongly gave them the sense that they were good students graham i agree with you right they're a byproduct of a current current indoctrination centers okay like for me my dream wasn't or I don't know it was I, I've always been interested in education I help my friends pass math courses and help them do this help them cheat in math and cheat in these things and I'll show you my cheating techniques by the way I'm gonna make an ASMR video on that on that we'll make a ASMR live stream and hopefully the camera can focus on my cheating method technique I still have those things with me right but um, the the centralized indoctrination centers do create a feedback loop where people come out thinking this is the way to be because they did well and then they try to maintain the same system right the best educators i've, I've come across are the, the well no i can't say are the ones that accidentally got into it but there are people who have had a desire to be educators teachers from the get-go and some of them have been phenomenal right of Serticon Chicho, even the math textbooks, even the math textbooks, in many of the math textbooks are absolutely horrendous. How does the centralized power control math? It does, uh, like math is very, uh, very cut and dry, should be. Not many ways uh, you can twist math, to my knowledge. Yeah, you can. The word problems are twisted. The word problems become socially, uh, become polit politics, right? They confuse people with different words. The type of problems uh, they provide aren't really real life problems. They complicate things more. They teach them certain techniques that are absurd way to approach a problem because you can do it way faster doing it in, in, a, in a simplified form, right? It, and the way they control it is they have billions of dollars to spend on textbooks and they give it to the centralized institution that has been providing them textbooks for decades to provide them textbooks and they give them the money and these people hire hacks to write textbooks or create new editions of original textbooks they have and they deliver the books without going through filters right uh, Richard Feynman talked about this right coolio well how do you propose eliminating or lessening bias in the hiring process in the hiring process for sure uh, i don't believe that 
teachers or anyone in society should be protected from being fired if they're doing a bad job about it right what happens is centralized power it's not centralized power just from the government sent i i appreciate unions i think unions are extremely extremely important right they're but unfortunately they are corrupt but they're less corrupt to a certain degree than a lot of centralized corporations uh, centralized power governments right but what's happened is one is outdoing the other so they protect bad teachers it's like the same thing as policing right they protect bad cops right bad cops kill somebody bad cops beat the crap out of 10 people it becomes a habit to them why are they still allowed to be a police officer right because they're not allowed to be fired right so there needs to be accountability basically transparency accountability hiring process there has to be interaction within the community with the parents with the students many many things ding baba chicho this was grade four by the way okay grade four what was grade four ding baba i remember a math textbook that had were oh yeah great four math textbook damn damn elementary school math is horrendous my god so bad so bad people who do it for the right reasons like that guy chicho <laughs> thanks hobbleton think about i remember cheating method for multiple choice tests the number of knocks on your desk indicated the number of questions you need help with then someone who is in in on the cheating knocks back once for a twice for b three times for cx <laughs> i'll show you mine what i did will blow you away will blow you away you're gonna go what insanity is this <laughs> students graham says students should be allowed to fire teachers i think there should be a discussion i think there should be um there should be certain type of mechanism put into place to hold teachers accountable okay but it's not that level we have to start from we have to hold centralized capital centralized power centralized education systems indoctrination centers hold them accountable first and then work your way down and then you hold students accountable right students must also be held accountable chicho coolio what are your thoughts on homeschooling i'm okay with it but a lot of there's a lot of problems with homeschooling because a lot of parents who have come through decentralized indoctrination centers right they're not they don't have the tools at their disposal to be able to educate their kids appropriately right so they let them run amok or let them run loose however there are homeschoolers that are getting an amazing education that I've interacted with so homeschooling is just an umbrella right it fits certain people it doesn't fit other people right but I'm all for homeschooling if I had kids I'd be I would I would send them to school but I would be possibly sending them to school part-time and supplementing their schooling with homeschooling and the schooling that would be uh, centralized school that they'd be going to would be more geared towards their social activity than learning mathematics or science or anything like that because i would be teaching those anyway it would be more geared towards um you know having the science lab and the physics labs and all that because at home you really can't have all the equipment that a school can provide you right hey chicho how are you island king divinity how are you doing hey chicho how are you where i live there are more police in, in in the schools than in certain wealthy neighborhoods it's terrible it's terrible and police should be kicked out of schools no policing in schools period what is this madness right i i, I understand that there's a lot of places where the school is very dangerous place to go and all that jazz right i agree with that right i understand that's happening but one of the reasons is like that is not because the school is very dangerous is because the whole community has collapsed right why because of over policing right Vic like 
just a lot like stop and frisk to uh, school to prison pipeline to defunding to it's just such a domino such a domino when the teaching method is more complicated than the question on the test it took work it was brilliant it was very meditative okay i've gone all the way down to the bottom um, so if there's any one of my plants here on the desk has uh little aphids on it i gotta kill them after the squirrel after the squirrel after the <laughs> after the stream <laughs> kill the aphids kill the aphids it was fun fun i hope you guys have a fantastic time let me read you this little excerpt uh from richard Feynman. See, I got a telephone. Uh, Patterson. Board. Okay, check this out. I'm going to read this Richard Feynman thing that I gave you guys a link for, right? It'll talk about uh, da, 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 uh, books. They're trying to build a prison. They're trying to build a prison. They're trying to build a prison for me at Euro 11. Da, 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 da. Can't for the next time by then. Ding Bobber. Chicho. With. Well, with what Graham said regarding students firing teachers, imagine that the teachers yells once and the students unionize and fire the whole goddamn staff. Would they? I have more faith in students. Really. I've worked with students. They're, they, when they find an amazing teacher, man, those, those kids uh, will do everything for that teacher right there shouldn't be police in schools it's not practical the argument is for active shooters right yeah active shooters uh, is not yeah I, I agree right yeah thing is an officer cannot fire in a school full of people full of people under any circumstances because the background background involved on top of that the officer then gets blamed because they didn't fire it's absurd it's absurd Elder God, Chicho is avoiding the word scroll. It's an imposter on stream. <laughs> Just a joke. Ding Bobber. Da, 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 da. Ground. Ding Bobber. Chicho, I have more faith in my students. Also, why are they yelling? Exactly. You should not be raising your voice to your students. Ever. Really. I agree with Graham. There's nothing more American than throwing police at a problem rather than trying to tackle the root cause of it. Yeah, Eduardo, how are you doing? Here's a little excerpt. Treat students like they're human beings, not slaves. Agreed, 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 agreed. Quote. Uh, I'm going to read this. It'll take me a couple of minutes to read it. Okay, gang? Ch -ch -ch five minutes or so so judging books by their cover by richard Feynman, and the links are in the description i'll provide the link again in the chat this is regarding textbooks okay it's number two quote i was giving a series of freshman physics lectures in 1964 and after one of them tom harvey who assisted me in putting on the demonstration said you ought to see what's happening in mathematics in school school books my daughter comes home with a lot of crazy stuff I didn't pay much attention to that when he said to what he said but the next day I got a telephone call from a pretty famous lawyer here in Pasadena mr. Norris who was at the time on the on the state school board of education he asked me if i would serve on the state curriculum commission which had to choose the new textbooks for the state of california you see the state had a law that all of the textbooks used by all of the students in all the public schools have to be chosen by the state board of education so they have have a committee to look over the books and to give them advice on which books to take and then dot 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 continues right we go past a little bit in that article and the link that you'll find continuing richard Feynman. i had a special bookshelf 
put in my study downstairs the books took up seven sh seven feet and be uh, 17 the, the books took up 17 feet and began reading all the books that were going to be discussed in the next meeting we were going to start out with the elementary textbooks it was a pretty big job and i worked all the time at it down in the basement my wife says that during this period it was like living over a volcano it would be quiet for a while but then all of a sudden blow there would be a big explosion from the volcano below the reason was that the textbooks were so lousy they were false they were hurried they would try to be rigorous but they would use examples like automobiles in the streets for sets which were almost okay which were almost okay but in which there were always some sub uh, subti subtilities the definitions weren't accurate everything was a little bit ambiguous they weren't smart enough to understand what was meant by rigor they were faking it they were teaching something they didn't understand and which was in fact useless at that time for the child right that's richard feynman just excerpt of richard feynman in a chapter that he wrote in a book regarding textbooks and i've looked at textbooks like for me when i work with my students we rarely use their textbooks really i i i i ask them what they're covering if i'm working with them initially right what are they working on and then i just take over and i just teach them right and then they you know they tell me some of the questions they might be having a hard time with and then i use my own examples to teach them it is rare 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 that i even take a look at a student's textbook that they are using in school i teach them my curriculum i don't follow the school's curriculum it doesn't work it's garbage okay when i was in school they didn't yell they just reached for the cane seeing one today makes <laughs> make my arms hurt <laughs> all the god says ding bobber that's another thing why are these teachers allowed to single out students they don't like and embarrass them by yelling more than they would with other students these teachers take their problems at home out of their student out on their students ridiculous i've had a few like this in public school no less yeah unfortunate in pakistan they would slap your hand yeah blade runner like for me i went to school in iran from elementary school all the way to grade five halfway through grade five and then i came to canada halfway through grade five in iran in elementary school you didn't do your homework you talked out of place you did something bad a couple of punishments you had you would either go up to the front of the of the of the classroom the teacher would say hold out your hands you would hold out your hands and she would bring out this gigantic wooden ruler and go whack 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 hit your hands as until she was satisfied or he was satisfied and then you would go back and sit down now this is elementary school like just imagine doing this to someone in grade three grade four grade two right the other punishment they had they would say for whatever reason it was they would say give me your hand they would put pencils between your fingers right and the teacher would squish your hand just imagine a grown adult putting fingers between <laughs> between a child's hand and going right until they were satisfied and then let you go and they would go like this sometimes where the pencils right try that doing that to an adult it will hurt right then i came here this is zero it took me a little few weeks to realize that the teachers didn't hate you there was nothing like i went insane it was just like whoa crazy however the education that you got in school here in mathematics was garbage in grade five halfway through grade five the mathematics that was being taught in iran was on the same level as the mathematics that was being taught here in grade 10 right just imagine the difference 
right? So every system, centralized system, has its own problems. Okay, that's why we have to step away from centralized education. Absurdicon, that's cruel, cruel for sure, hard. That's why when I came here, kids here were soft, man. Really, kids here were soft. I would encounter bullies, and people would be cowering with bully in front of bullies. I'd stand up to bullies. I didn't even speak a word of English. I would stand up to them. Bullies learn pretty fast. You know, bully Chicho. <laughs> I was a little kid too, because Chicho fights back, right? So didn't you know? I got into fights, but because you encounter a lot of bullies, right? It's not just one bully in school. There are multiple bullies, and I would just fight them. I didn't care, man. You guys, what? My high school calculus teacher was like this. She was a fantastic math teacher who was truly passionate about her class, but she singled out people. She seemed to be uh, she seemed to be troublemakers. I saw her yell at an elementary school kid at a rally for doing nothing, uh, s something she didn't approve of. And then she told him, "You're on my list," which sounds incredibly fun. Yeah, that's crazy, absurdicon. Yeah, that's crazy. The pain I suffered at school made me strong. Yeah, me too. Me too. The elder God says. Coolio, research says that positive enforcement is far more effective than negative enforcement. 100%. Yeah, I concur with that research. So if you didn't suffer pain at school, you'd be stronger. Ah, uh, no, but school is not about education. School is about indoctrination and it puts you in the the community to a certain degree. It's about social interaction, right? And it does make you stronger. You become more tolerant of pain. You can stand up against bullies. You know what power is. It teaches you certain things, right? So I disagree with I disagree with that, Coolio. It may not make you uh, your education uh, facilitate your education better but to a certain degree it does make you stronger on certain fronts <laughs> i have had an experience that james bond says <laughs> glad you stood up for yourself i had to i had to i was a little guy i didn't speak a word of english and it was people were trying to bully me what get lost what are you guys crazy and i had a lot of friends because i didn't you know anyway that's a different story catholic traditionalists different strokes for different folks and at my school the strokes happen to be across the ass with a wooden paddle <laughs> i'm glad that didn't happen sitting down would suck apollo zult when i was in high school i had a teacher completely skip over evolutionary theory because they went against his personal beliefs what is your opinion on omitting that kind of information? Uh, omitting evolution? I think evolution should be taught. Sure, of course. Like science or pattern recognition is really pattern recognition, right? So pattern recognition is one of the core elements that should be taught to kids. And kids are pattern recognition machines, really. Human beings are. Right? Well, I shouldn't have said no pain education is life if you think about it indeed but not physical or emotional pain from a teacher that should never occur i agree with you coolio i agree lark i seem very nice thank you i try sometimes i'm not but that frequency has dropped a lot right cheryl how are you doing i want to to side slide in to catch at least some of the stream but didn't expect to blow my stack at how people treat children <laughs> it is what it is right hamilton one thing i've noticed is that the more you know and the more you are aware the more you suffer the ultimate challenge in life is handling suffering and doing good in spite of the in spite of it that's how i feel at least okay hamilton i don't know if suffer is the right word i think you become more empowered right so i would say i'm going to read your thing i'm going to add in my thing one thing i've noticed is that the more you know and the more you're aware 
the more you are empowered all right does that empower encompass a certain amount of suffering growing pains for sure for sure but it does empower you if you are willing to hurt a child ever you are an evil person or you had a very seriously bad life right you are traumatized it doesn't justify it right apollo or you didn't you don't know better right and what do you think of college nowadays should it be as mandatory and expensive as today it should not be mandatory and it should not be expensive right uh is it required sure if you're going to certain disciplines right uh, you need to you know if you're going to go into mathematics if you're going to go into electrical engineering if you're going to go into being a physician rocket scientist uh, i don't know music theorist whatever that you you require a certain amount of discipline and learning about the history of your topic that you want to learn you need to go certain certain style of schooling or you can be completely self-taught as well by the way i train children to fight and defend themselves violent is a useful weapon we have to be able to protect ourselves physically extremely important okay extremely important you have to be able to defend yourself it's law of nature right you either need to be able to run away fast okay you need to be either and or right need to be able to de-escalate a situation so you have to have good logical thinking and good communication abilities and you also need to be able to physically defend yourself you do period okay how do you feel about student loan debt <laughs> i think it's horrendous it's ridiculous it's due to centralized power right it's a scam it's a scam and they knew about it they knew it was a scam and they keep on feeding it right the whole thing is a bubble it's a it's a scam government giving corporations money that run institutions to kick up jack up the prices so they can get more money and enslave debt slavery debt servitude of people who want to get an education to work in a field and then they can't get a job that services that debt so they're in debt forever and they passed the law the bankruptcy bill look into the 2005 bankruptcy bill that prevented people declaring background bankruptcy in their student debts right or made it more difficult in canada is the same right talking your way out always comes first but i also teach them to urban chat as well yeah de-escalating the situation verbally is the key right but one way you're able to do that is to project a certain amount of energy okay it's important that if you teach kids self-defense you also teach them not to use their strength to inflict or in instigate violence on others for sure and one of the ways to do that is make sure they feel bad whenever a violent encounter happens right once you feel bad about getting into a violent confrontation then you know you're in the right mindset okay that's slavery 100 percent apollo i am currently in the military and i'm getting out in about a year as far as college goes do you recommend i go to the best college i can get like a and m or ut uh, should i just get my full bachelor's in a small college or should i get my basics in a smaller college and then move to the larger uh, apollo it really depends is your education because you're in the military is your education going to be fully covered are they going to pay it all or are you going to go into debt because of it being in the marines they are not not many people interested in talking about college with me apollo if the if your post-secondary education is not going to cost you anything find the best schools you can go to and go there if the government is going to flip the bill for it right if they're going to leave you if you're going to pay it yourself it's covered it covers a large portion of my degree 
go to a place that you're going to use all of the funding that you have don't tag on any more debt right so let's say they're going to cover ten thousand dollars in I don't, I don't know where you are when you say ut i'm assuming that's university of toronto maybe right whatever the fees are if a certain university college it's going to cost you ten thousand dollars texas okay so it'll be more than that right so if they're giving you let's say ten thousand dollars to for your first year or every year to get your education go to a college that is maxing that out right just max it out treat it as a centralized budget right and you're an institution that the centralized government has said you have this much budget money use it to your will anything extra you have to put your own money in there just use what they gave you to the max you're set you get your degree right you and by the way more expensive doesn't mean better so do your research right find out the best school to go to and use up the funds don't add any of your own debt to it okay really that's the best way to do it and if you can by the way apollo if you can 100 percent get into a co-op program and a co-op program is this in general you work uh, you go to school for four months and there's a mechanism put in place where you get a job for four months where it, it's related to the field of your study right so the university um, sort of partners up with different companies some of them are small some of them are large in your area or across texas or across the country to hire students to apprentice and they actually pay you while you're working mind it anyway right so look into a co-op program where you go to school and then go work somewhere for three months or four months and then you go to another semester of school and another semester of work or two semester of school one semester of work two semester of school one semester of work you build work experience you build connections extremely important okay extremely important gang we're coming on to the end of the stream okay amazing idea i hadn't thought of that option yet thank you very much my my pleasure apollo and good luck and good luck and we're going to be doing uh, a lot of these education streams and we're going to be doing math streams once the school kicks in again so you're welcome to pop in and uh, talk more about this crud just found out that my son that your son what did he do catholic traditionalist what did he do my son's canoe trip had to be canceled due to flooding oh crap that's unfortunate and it went through all that and uh did all the planning and everything oh pooper scooper and a whole week you're gonna have your son going oh i want to be in that canoe trip oh no cheryl says almost to all philosophy should be a compulsory subject at school and high school and reinforce the most important rule treat others how you want to be treated is that the most important that's the golden rule the silver rule says don't treat others the way you do not want to be treated so that should be in there as well there are multiple disciplines already it's almost time no we're just getting started rec 118 the concept of going into debt just to get your university degree sounds so insane to me as a german here it's free and even and you even get money for uh, from the government if you come from a poor family to aid you yeah and that's the way it should be right that's the way it should be gang thank you for being here fantastic discussion i love these education live streams uh discussions in brazil is free also cool cool eduardo uh thank you for sharing information thank you for discussions thank you for being here mods thank you for taking care of business thank you for the support thank you for having our back okay if you want to know who i am i'm on patreon if you like this work patreon.com chicho c-h-y-c-h-o 
you can support this work through patreon i don't put anything behind paywalls share and share like okay if you want to know what we're doing you can just follow and if you like the work that you're seeing over an extended period of time and if you do have the means at some point to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to do so it assures that i can continue this work to the best of my abilities we are live streaming this on twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat as is happening twitch is where you want to be at and gang thank you very much for the follows thank you very much for the subs thank you for being here and gang at patreon I should be saying this every stream but i think you know i very much appreciate the support that you're giving me through there we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on twitter gab minds vk lo and parlor and we do share additional information there okay and for unannounced or unscheduled live streams i do announce us going live whenever we're going to do it a few minutes before we go live and i do announce when we're going to upload video audio and all that jazz right we will be uploading this discussion to soundcloud soundcloud.com slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o for those that want to listen to these discussions just in audio format when they're doing their thing walking about and stuff like this as a podcast soundcloud is where you want to be at and you can follow the work there and the audio should be available on others podcasting platforms as well and if it's not you want it available let me know and i'll see what i can do from my end to make sure it's available there as well and this video this live stream this discussion will be uploaded to bitshoot and youtube and if you are on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership by liking by sharing by commenting by sharing the love i guess right Oh, it was a good stream, uh, Mr. Nobion. I hope uh, I'll be uploading it um, in a few days to YouTube and BitChute so you can watch it there or watch it for next two weeks on Twitch because after two weeks, I think Twitch takes it down. Why well, I'm whispering in my butt. Thank you. Thank you, gang, for being here. And if you're around tomorrow morning, I believe at 11 a.m., pdt we're going to do a comic book reading our last stream for this set of videos that we did and we ended up doing we're going to end up doing like seven videos seven live streams in five days so it was a good run it was a good run and after that for the next few days i'm going to catch up uploading the streams to bitshoot youtube and the audio to soundcloud and then i'll announce the next set of streams probably towards the end of this week okay gang thanks for being here i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and if you can make it tomorrow comic book reading Woo -hoo. bye everyone <laughs>